All right, so I ordered the King of the Beach Spalding Karch Court. Looks like it is made in China. You can see here it's the Spalding Tournament Karch Courts Volleyball Net System. It's off the King of the Beach website. So let's uh, let's open it up and see what we got here. Looks like there's a place for your volleyball. That's nice. I've got anchors for the sand, more anchors for the lines around the edges, directions on the sand poles. Guy wires. This is the net. Um, boundary line. Uh, I think that goes, I don't know, underneath the poles and the cylinder, I don't know. Big stakes, jeez, look at that sucker. It's like almost, I don't know, 16 inches or something. And the other pole. Huh. Not a bad setup. There's the net. It definitely does not look like four inch tape. It's like two inch. Alright, going to set up my new King of the Beach Spalding Portable over there. Uh, see how it goes. I'll fast forward the boring parts. Alright, Ray. You got me to see the one Okay. Okay, so update. Alright, I just like Um, super high pole. Look at this. I'm 6'4". Hey, I just like the um, Lines, I don't know, are okay. They're like nylon, they seem a little cheap. It's got this interesting system here where it's kind of like one uh, carabiner with these two like half ropes and then it connects to these two that go into the ground. It's got these uh, pulleys here and I guess you use this yellow piece to, to pull it down once you have the stakes in the ground different than Park and Sun where they have sort of like cheap handles or something. I've seen some handles like that. It kind of goes through and back. I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to do that with this, so we're going to give it a shot to see what happens. We're kind of guessing here. We looked at the instructions but didn't like follow them exactly. I mean, who does really, you know? Less noise using the mallet. The stakes are super long, the mallet's a little light, a little small, so it's hard to get a good swing in. Uh, hammer might be better, especially when you're pulling these things out. They're long stakes, they're like, what, 16 inches maybe? So now we've got this part up. Um, hold on, so I think what we have to do, Ray, hold on. We're going to play reverse rules, so we need the net at women's height. And we're back. Sorry, my battery died. Okay, so here's how it's looking so far. We don't have the boundary line up yet. We're setting up at women's height so we can play reverse today. Um, it's looking pretty solid, actually. I like this four inch side tape here. Two inch up here, I prefer four. We'll see how it performs. But the net itself feels really nice and tight. You know, like the ball's gonna play off that uh, pole, nice and solid. Yeah, and I, actually I'm a little bit happier with the lines, the guy lines than I thought. Because you can adjust them here, you've got these um, pulleys that lock in place. But it feels like it's just going to stay. The stakes are huge, uh, like 16 inches, so they're going to stay in the ground. 
And uh, yeah, so now we gotta put in the, uh, the boundary line. I brought my own grass stakes that look like this. The ones that came with it were like plastic and really big and um, it's a pain to get those in and out of grass unless the grass is really soft. So I'm gonna use these metal ones. And then we have these uh, elastic lines that are about a half inch thick that we use for 10 foot lines. So guys have to hit behind the 10 foot line unless they hit upwards. They can hit upwards in front of it, but if they're behind it, then they can hit it down and guys can't block the ladies. That's kind of what we do here in Seattle. There's a green lake. This is green lake. There's a lake. There's softball going on, so we're limited. We cannot probably only put up five or six nets here today. So, all right, let's get this boundary line going. We figured out the boundary lines. The court seems a little short. I wonder if they're measured for the short court for beach as opposed to full size. We usually play full size when we play out in the grass. Um, I'm not sure though. The boundary line is kind of wimpy. It's really small, it's black, it's hard to see. I tend to not get black lines. I get like blue or yellow. Some people like red, I don't like red. I don't like anything that's red really. We're also gonna put in the 10 foot lines, so do that next. All right, we're gonna play a little warm up game here. Um, it's men's on a women's net, but we'll play reverse rules. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. There we go. There's the Eric I know and love. I like the net. This part. Ray dirty. likes the net. Love it. Played on it a bit and uh, feels like a normal net. Doesn't feel cheap. Um, again, overall impression, uh, it's nice and firm. I like it for a grass net. Wish the boundary line, I mean the uh, tape was four inches. That could be an improvement for a later version. Wish the boundary line was a different color at least, if not thicker, like a one inch tape. That'd be great, but the poles are great. Thing up, nice and firm. The guy lines work well. And uh, yeah, I'll try it on beach at some point. So there you go. Alright, good day of playing. We packed it up. Um, this is a good bag actually. It, it's pretty thick, it's durable. It's got a place where you can put your ball here. Um, I like the handles. They're nice and big. You can throw it over your shoulder. Um, so, I guess I'm signing off from Green Lake in Seattle.